This is Mission Control Houston. We are using the payload bay cameras right now to hopefully catch a glimpse of the Russian space station Mir as it performs an on-orbit burn. Though it will be difficult to uh, pick Mir out from the stars as they pass behind us, the uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back the straight back behind the orbiter where the mirror is flying at about 850 nautical miles behind us. No joy from here, sorry. Hope it was a good one though for our friends. Thank you, sir. We could not see it here either. We'll wait two or three more minutes till sunrise and then uh, at that time give you a go for KU Stowe. We're to mission lapse time of seven days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control, Houston. The uh, Mir Space Station is now visible on the uh, far left-hand side of the screen, about, about an inch from the bottom of this particular picture. Okay, the Mir space station is the small flashing light in the center about an inch from the left-hand side of the screen. It's slowly... Um, it is slowly moving closer to the left-hand side and is a very, has a very light flashing to it. We think on the middle of the screen, way to the left-hand side. We think you can see a flashing light just a little bit to the left of the center of the screen, very faint. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be... Uh This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, we believe we were just able to spot the uh, Mir spacecraft as it flies about at 850 nautical miles behind. Now in the center of the screen, we can see an unidentified flying object suddenly appearing, giving off a tremendous luminosity as it appears to be moving from the higher dimension of energies into a dimension where the visible wavelengths of the camera could observe its light.